In our final lesson, the documenting research module, we will cover publications. One of the goals of your research should be to share your findings and methods you used with the wider scientific community. Even negative results are useful results for researchers. Learning what doesn't work is just as important as learning what did work. Publication through peer-reviewed journals, conference proceedings, interactive videos, or other means are ways to share your research. Researchers, even well-experienced ones, can find writing about their research challenging. So in this lesson, we will explore different types of publications, tips to overcome writer's block, engaging your advisor or principal investigator in the process, developing a publication plan, and leveraging communication modes such as social media. There are many different methods for publishing your work from the very traditional, like journal articles and conference papers, to more modern approaches like social media posts and personal websites. They can be used separately or in concert to make a publication strategy that both conveys your work to the scientific community and broader public, as well as leveraging your unique communication styles and creativity. In this slide, I will briefly touch on a few of these methods and how researchers use them. The dissertation. This is the capstone of your PhD research, or master's research, as a thesis. It is typically completed once as a part of your degree and written towards the end of the research project. Most dissertations average at over 100 pages in length. I will have a separate lesson on writing your dissertation in part two of the series, How to Conduct Research. For right now, it is important to note that the other methods of publication can be leveraged towards your dissertation, and in some cases, such as with journal articles, you can create a dissertation directly from your peer-reviewed work. Journal articles. This is the most complex to write outside of the dissertation and is usually 10,000 words or more in length. They are peer-reviewed documents submitted to journals for publication. They require a large time commitment to complete. It may take upwards of nine months to a year to go from starting a draft to a published article. Journal articles typically have multiple authors and require internal concurrence on drafts and addressing reviewer comments. They are written in order to publish research findings. Conference papers. These are short papers, a maximum of four pages in a two-column format. They are also peer-reviewed, but tied to a specific conference instead of journal, published in conference proceedings. Conference papers are typically accompanied by a conference presentation at the conference. A note of warning, be careful not to duplicate publications. You can't publish the same results as a seminal finding in both a conference paper and then a journal article. Poster presentations are also tied to conferences. There is minimal writing required, and they are a great way to present and share research in progress. Social media. Researchers use platforms like Instagram and YouTube to share their research and engage with a wider audience. Social media is useful for educating the public, informing fellow researchers, and improving presentation skills. This is a good way to share your published work and discuss the concepts behind other researchers' published work to better educate people. Avoid discussing unpublished work and restricted information on these platforms. Remember to cite your sources. Dr. Demarcus Robinson at the Black Ocean Scientist on Instagram creates videos like the one screenshot here explaining concepts like dead zones in oceans. He uses visuals and screenshots of journal articles to explain this concept and how it was presented by researchers in a recently published paper. Dr. Laurel Williams at chemistry underscore in color on Instagram posts content related to her published work, how to do experiments, her methodology, and more. Develop your own website to showcase your research, link to your social media posts on research, and list publications. Utilize platforms like LinkedIn, ORCID, ResearchGate, 
in Google Scholar to increase visibility and connect with others in the field. I have provided links to two researchers' websites in the resources section as examples. It can be challenging to know where or when to start thinking about publishing. Publishing your research doesn't just happen at the end of the project. It is an integral part of the research process. There are natural points where publication becomes not only possible, but important. Take a closer look at your research plan. What experiments do you plan on conducting? What hypotheses do you hope to prove or disprove? Are there any sample preparations or equipment developments you anticipate? Make note of these elements and be open to new developments that may emerge during the process. These are all areas that should be considered for publication once they have been developed or findings have been formed. Did you obtain any interesting preliminary results or plan on conducting a scoping study? Even your literature review can become a publication known as a systematic review. This type of review breaks down the existing literature and highlights its importance. For methods and data, consider publishing them in full in separate journal publications. Publishers Science Direct and L. Sevier offer dedicated journals for methods and data, allowing for cross-referencing with your main journal article. This enhances the impact and usability of your data within the broader scientific community. Publishing your raw data in full and providing detailed methods can greatly benefit fellow researchers who aim to understand, replicate, or build upon your research. Additionally, Having your raw data published enables others to use it as a benchmark for their own results, further expanding the impact of your research. When deciding what journal or conference to publish, consider those journals that align with your research or that have published research closely aligned with yours. This will typically become evident as you conduct literature review and note which articles stand out as most relevant to your research. Start with conferences related to your topic of research or discipline of study. When in doubt, consult with your advisor on which conferences and journals they think are most relevant. Once you have determined what you would like to publish and have identified potential conferences and journals, it's time to create a publication plan. A well-structured plan will help you stay organized and on top of your writing goals. Here are some key components to include in your plan. Journal and conference names. List the specific journals and conferences you intend to submit your work to. Include links to their websites and any relevant calls for papers. Research topic. Clearly define the research topic or project that you plan to publish in these selected journals and conferences. This will help you stay focused and ensure that your publications align with your research goals. Draft status tracking. Establish a system for tracking the status of your draft documents. Consider using status phases such as idea, abstract submitted, draft, internal review, draft submitted, reviewer responses received, accepted, published, or denied. This will enable you to monitor the progress of your publications and ensure timely follow-up. Task management. Identify and outline the specific tasks associated with your publication plan. This may include writing the manuscript, completing reviews, addressing public release requirements, and making travel arrangements for conferences. By breaking down the tasks, you can better manage your time and allocate resources accordingly. Deadlines. Note the submission deadlines associated with each journal and conference. Keeping track of these dates will help you prioritize your writing and ensure that you meet important submission timelines. Co-authors. Identify co-authors for each draft. This is crucial for acknowledging and crediting the contributions of your colleagues and collaborators. By including these elements in your publication plan, you will have a clear roadmap to guide your writing process, keep track of deadlines, and collaborate effectively with co-authors. 
Remember, staying organized and proactive in your publication endeavors will contribute to your success as a researcher. I'm going to close out this lesson with some tips on how to help you effectively plan and execute your publication plan. These tips will assist you in navigating the publication process and maximizing the impact of your research. Be organized. Develop a well-structured publication plan to guide your writing process. Keep track of important dates, submission deadlines, and tasks associated with each publication. Ensure your writing is organized and follows a clear structure, including introduction, methods, results, and conclusion. Keep your lab notebook up to date and use it as a starting point for your writing. Have a backup journal or conference. Consider having alternative journals or conferences in mind if your first choice doesn't select your submission. Expand your options to increase the chances of your work being published and reaching a broader audience. But do not submit your draft to multiple journals at the same time. Communicate with your advisor. Regularly engage with your advisor and share your drafts during the writing process. Share your papers with your advisor early and often, even if they are incomplete. This demonstrates progress and allows your advisor to provide guidance. Seek their feedback and incorporate their suggestions to improve the quality of your work. Early and frequent communication can help you stay on track and align your writing with their expectations. Start with an outline. Begin your writing process by creating an outline that outlines the structure and flow of your publication. This will provide a clear roadmap and help you stay focused on key points and main arguments. Embrace imperfection. Don't get caught up in perfecting each sentence during the initial writing stage. Focus on getting your ideas and results on paper first and then refine and edit them. Remember that feedback and revisions are a normal part of the publication process. Be specific with writing time. Set specific and measurable goals for your writing sessions. Break down tasks into smaller, manageable chunks to make progress consistently. Use specific time slots for writing and dedicate focused, uninterrupted time to maximize productivity. Separate the writing and editing processes.